This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.19.7. Blackboard Ally is a content accessibility service and is now available as an integration. Ally assists instructors improve content accessibility by checking for accessibility issues and generating alternative accessible formats. Ally also provides institution-wide reporting on course content accessibility. As part of our ongoing commitment to design and develop against WC3 accessibility best practices, there are updates to our shared web components, such as fonts, buttons, menus, and input fields to ensure they align with WCAG 2.1 standards. For a list of changes, review the release notes. Instructors can pin multiple posts to the top of their activity feed this feature implements PI item D4635. Activity feed can now filter by and send posts to specific sections in a course. Note, the instructor must be enrolled in more than one section of a course for your sections in activity feed to appear. This feature implements PI item D3952. From Activity Feed, click Create a Post. Leave all sections selected to send a post to all learners, or click Send To. To select one or more sections. Instructors can also use Filter By to sort their course activity feed by a section allowing them to focus on posts from a specific section. An Edit Categories option is now available in Assignments to allow users to edit all categories from one page. This feature implements PI items D1858 and D1913. From Assignments, click Edit Categories. Here, instructors can add, modify, delete, and sort categories, as well as manage unused categories. If a category with assignments is deleted, those assignments are added to the No Category area. An eraser has been added to the Annotations toolbar to allow evaluators to remove ink annotations made when evaluating assignment submissions. When evaluating a learner's submission, click Annotations and select your markup type. Instructors can now choose Eraser to remove pen and highlighter ink annotations. In Class Progress, the default Content Visited Indicator is switching to the Content Completed Indicator. This change applies to all users who are currently using the Content Visited Indicator or default settings. From Class Progress, the new Content Completed Indicator graph displays. To opt out of this change, edit your default settings. When using the Org Unit Purge Option feature in the Data Purge tool, you now have an additional option to purge user-contributed files. The new User Contributed Files option purges users' contributed files, but not any other user contributed database information, including quiz attempts and grades. Course completion tracking available in the Manager Dashboard and Learning Groups can now display a progress bar that shows the progress of a learner through a course as a percentage. For more information, review the release notes. If a user does not upload a user profile image in Brightspace Learning Environment, the navbar now displays the user's initials in the user profile badge. This change occurs for all roles and displays in Brightspace Learning Environment navbar and activity feed. The table of contents in the new content experience has been enhanced. 
Learners can now assign categories to tag the evidence they collect with Portfolio. This feature implements PI item D5100. Several improvements have been made to QuakeEval. Different date formats are supported in the Submission Date column. This feature implements PI item D5432. The Back to QuakeEval button directs users to the QuakeEval tool at the course level or org level, depending on where you launched it from. The Manage Discussions permission is no longer required to evaluate discussion topic submissions. This release includes a preview of workflows related to reordering quiz questions using keyboard interaction in Quiz Builder. Once this read-only preview feature is turned on at the course level, instructors can then opt in or out of the new experience. Note, D2L does not recommend using this feature in live production courses in its preview form. The default state of the organization level D2L, Tools, Rubrics, Updated Grading Experience, Configuration Variable is now set to ON. Several updates have been made to surveys. This feature implements PI items D4528 and D1023. While learners are taking an anonymous survey, an alert appears. The primary button when completing a survey has been updated from Save Responses to read as Submit Survey. Learners are still required to save survey answers manually using Save Responses. When a learner attempts to complete the survey with unanswered questions, a new Back to Questions button is displayed. There are changes to Langterm values to increase the clarity of the fields in the Updates widget, the My Courses widget, and Assignments to more clearly describe the capability of the feature. For more information, review the release notes. Check out our new Brightspace Pulse videos and be sure to click subscribe.